Hey everybody, lovely vapesters. Welcome back to AK Vape Lounge. Welcome, welcome. So this is a little video for you people out there who are like myself, who are new to sub ohm vaping. sub ohm vaping, okay. The two devices I started on, I'm going to kind of do a comparison on. So if you're above you know, if you've moved on and you're using, you're like one of those men using the big, you know, mods and all, you probably don't want to watch this video. <laughs> it's kind of grade school for you guys. But anyway, for people out there who are ready to sub on vape and who have watched my previous reviews and seen that I've had both the sub bod and the Kanger Tech Mini and now I'm going to compare the two so you kind of can get an idea of the pluses and minuses. Really, in a whole nutshell, I don't really have any minuses that much to these two devices. I love Kanger Tech. It's no secret. Everyone knows. However, when I go out in public <laughs> and I am holding this, I get a lot of strange looks, okay? Because, you know, I'm not a young hipster, you know, that looks really cool. So... <laughs> I wish I was. So, I do get it. You know, you do, all joking aside, people kind of look at you like, what is that that she's doing? You know, that don't vape or don't know anything about it. So, anyway, not that we care. However, this, this Kanger Tech top box, as you can see, um, is a little bit bigger as far as, you know, the style, you know, and the style's kind of box. Not quite as elegant, I would say, as... Or elegant looking in appearance as the sub bod so I really am I really am pleased with like Kanger Tech's I don't know they thought of it they thought of everything because they've given us the cigar ie yeah for women and the to me this is like elegant I don't know the cigarette kind and this is more of the Cigar. I don't know. I used to smoke cigars when I smoked. So, okay, so comparison. Diameter, I think they hold, to me, they hold about the same amount of juice. They're about three to four mil. I mean, give or take, you know, I'm not going to give you exact number. It's on the box, but because uh, I don't want to quote wrong. But to me, it holds about the same. I mean, my juice in here will last me all day. Uh, this here, the sub vod is, like I said, I, to me, it holds about the same. I mean, I, I think it lasts me all day. Now, the sub vod um, is self-regulated. It regulates itself. So you're not dialing up. You're not doing all that again. You know, you've got the airflow. You can adjust that. It is top fill. You can unscrew the top, put the juice in. I added my own diameter. I'm just a fan of these. These have little air holes through them. Uh, you can add whatever tip you like. You can change the tip out. Um, it has a pass-through USB. I don't ever use that. I just, something about hooking something up to a computer and me vaping on it doesn't sound safe, even though it's supposed to be. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not recommending that one. So, uh, that's up to you. So, um, but when you go out in public, I just think this looks nicer. Good cloud production. Very good. Still get great cloud production and you're not having any kind of, I mean, you don't, you don't have a dial up. You don't have temperature control. But the funny thing is, plus here, that I've noticed about the sub bod, and I don't know why, and I would love for somebody to tell me, because they're both put out by Kanger Tech. The tanks are similar. I've, both of them have the Clapton, same Clapton coils in them. I believe that the Clapton coil that I have in this one, it's a little different made. It might have a different vertical coil. I don't, I'm not sure. I will investigate that and get back to you on that. However, the flavor in the, with this sub bod, not that this one's not awesome. It's just, it's more flavorful. I don't know. It's a different taste.
I've got right now the apple butter in here that I spoke to you about earlier from Liquid Steak. Much more apple-y flavor there. Um, this one here, excellent flavor. Like I said, this is my main vaping device all day. Of course, that's more cloud production because I've got this dialed up to 30 watts. It's 30.0 right now. I see in wattage mode with this. And again, if you watch my previous video, that's up to you, ladies. I just find, I mean, either one of them in your purse is easy. You just five clicks on, five clicks off, throw it in your purse. Really, you know, user friendly, both of them. Um... Both with glass tank. I don't know what the taste difference is. I hadn't figured that out. So anyway, these two devices to me, if you're ready to move up to sub-ohm and you're, you don't have to be a female, but you're a female and you're thinking, you know, how does it look? How does it feel? What is it I really want? You know, it's all a personal preference. So I would recommend one of these though. I would recommend sticking with Kanger. I, I really... I mean, I did try some Aspire, I, I will say. And Aspire, they're excellent as far as, you know, their, their um, devices are as well. I mean, their, their atomizers are good too. But I just like Hangar. I just find the flavor is just amazing. So I would recommend either one of these um, if you're starting sub -ohm. Again, not much difference. I like having them both, actually, because... At nighttime, you know, I can use this one a lot. In the daytime, um, is more when I use the sub -vod. Again, great cloud production. I mean, both of them, but this one, I mean, for, for a tube device. And again, this is just a tube style, but you can kind of see, I'll put it up close. I use a, I recommend if you've got your sub bot and you really, uh, if you've already got it, you know, or whatever, or when you go to get it, you need to get you a vape band because it is a glass tank and I never drop these and the other day I actually dropped this one and I sat it on my desk like this and it flipped and thank God I had the vape band saved it. It just bounced. It was fine. But... Again, I recommend, it's a preference, but I recommend one of these devices for sub ohm vaping, ladies and gentlemen. However, I think it's just, I mean, for ladies, I mean, it looks nice. It's, it's not, uh, this again is more elegant, I think, but it's a personal preference. And it has that adjustable airflow, just like the Top Box Mini. Difference is you're not going to be able to control what's going on in there as far as, wattage and all that it's already regulated for you so sometimes people like that's easy so that is my comparison from the uh, kanger tech top box mini and the kanger tech sub -vod. i recommend them highly both the devices are awesome um i fell in love with both of them so <laughs> i can't say uh anything negative there no leakage no problems there. I mean, really, nothing. That Now that I have a second battery for this one, pop that new battery in. I charge the other one while I'm using You know, got this for backup in case anything, God forbid, you know. So, that is my thoughts. And this has been AK of Vape Lounge. And I hope that you send me some thumbs up. Give me some comments. Let me know. If you're about to go into sub -ohm, what devices are you thinking? Like, what is your, what have you seen that you like? What do you think you might want? Let me know. I would love to hear it. And um, like I said, vaping has saved my life. Don't smoke and vape on. I hope you have a lovely day. Ciao.